what's up guys and welcome back to loot hunt day 13 um, yeah I know I'm late again but uh, yeah so today's target is DJ Tanner in the Magnus Lighthouse and he's gonna be located here in just one second uh, up here up there by the cursor I forgot to put a circle on it uh, but to spawn DJ Tanner, you have to get the Freedom of Speech mission from Sensorbot in the Washburn Refinery. And I'm assuming most of you know where Sensorbot is by now. Uh, it's, it's not exactly hard to find. Uh, but yeah, it, he can drop the... Uh, DJ Tanner can drop his weapon while... Uh, he can drop the tidal wave, which is what he drops today. Um, sorry, I'm trying to confuse myself. Um, he can drop it during the mission, because uh, I actually got it during the mission. Um, so I will go ahead and warn you. Uh, yeah, just follow the route I take here. It's really not too hard to get to. Um, but I will go ahead and warn you. Uh, I did not do anything for the community goal again uh, it's 20,000 sand king or sorry thinking GTA 5 um, it's 20,000 queen sandworms and I farmed for a little bit the only two places I know that they can spawn uh, and that the wiki says they can spawn or that they are common is warm water and oasis I farmed for them a little bit in warm water and I didn't see any of them but I would recommend doing the Queen Sand, uh, Sandworm Queens in playthrough one, uh, just because the tidal wave, as you'll see here in just a minute when I get it, is a very inaccurate shotgun. It's a decent gun, but it's very inaccurate in the fact that it has a 10 projectile spread that just kind of flow out in a straight line. Uh, so you're not really getting the full effect. It might hit them with, you know, one or two of the uh, little individual BBs or shots, whatever they, whatever they're called in this game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right here is AMF and Mile, and this is where DJ Tanner spawns. Uh, like I said, he's not too hard to find. I actually ran around for a minute trying to figure out where he was, and yes, I do go down right here. Uh, thanks to that corrosive barrel. And yes, I know I was shooting right between that pirate's legs. Because my accuracy sucks. You don't have to remind me. Oh, and don't mind the uh, sniffling. My head is completely stopped up right now because of fact that I have really bad allergies. So right there you see me kill DJ Tanner and he does drop the tidal wave. Uh, I think it, it's a times 13 and right here I actually put it on and show you what it does. Uh, like I said it's not, I definitely wouldn't call it my favorite shotgun. I mean as you can see it's kind of inaccurate. It kind of bounces all over the place. Like I said, it does shoot out in that straight line, but if you're playing as a siren and you can phase lock people, uh, yeah, he, it actually works fairly well. If you can keep, if you can keep him phase lock long enough, you can get a couple of shots off at him. It actually works fairly well. Of course, you know, my accuracy probably doesn't help with this, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, uh, yeah, Loot Hunt Day 13. Peace out.